Naam. Uh, so we continue with our topic ismu at tafdil. Ismu at tafdil. Uh, so just to recap, what is ismu at tafdil? Uh, the lesson on page on Adar Sul Ashir. Adar Sul Ashir, page 41. So ismu tafdil is how do we uh, compare between things? Uh, how do we form a superlat uh, superlative and also compar comparative form? Uh, and it is uh, using the wazan, one wazan, okay? Uh, one wazan, which is the wazan af'al, uh, which is the wazan af'al. And how do we do that? Is we need to find the verb or the root word of the adjective that you want to use, okay? So, for example, the word ba'id, uh, this is the adjective, ba'id, far. Uh, how do you say father or fathers? then you need to uh, figure out what is the root word for this verb, uh, sorry, for this adjective. So the root word for this adjective is always three word, three letters. Ba, Ain, and Dal. And how do you know it is Ba, Ain, and Dal? Uh, you look at the dictionary. So in the dictionary, you will find a verb uh, uh, consisting of the letter Ba, Ain, and Dal, which is this one. Ba, Ain, and Dal. So, so now you know. So this word, Ba, Ain, is originally uh, is ba'uda. The verb is ba'uda. Then you take this word, you take the word ba'uda, and you change it to the form of af'al. So af'alu, in this case, it becomes ab'adu. Ab'adu. So this is how we uh, form isim at tafdil. Alright? So this is just a recap of what we have done uh, previously. Uh, so now I want to give you another way. So there is actually another way how to change to this uh, isim tafdil. So one way is using ab af'alu. So this wasn't. So there is another way. Uh, but uh, we are not going to ask you in the exam the second way. But this is uh, useful because sometimes you will see this in, uh, in, in the text. When you read the text, you will see this form as well. So the another way is another way is using. So this is the first way, the first method. The second method is by using a helping verb, by using an additional word, okay? So by uh, having an additional word, plus, so you need to have one additional word, still in the form of af'alu, af'alu, plus, okay, plus masdar, plus masdar. So we have learned about masdar, right? We have learned about the... Uh, uh, Verbal noun, so plus masdar. So, for example, uh, the helping verb that we can use is the helping verb that we can use is, for example, the word aksaru. So, this is an additional word that you use before uh, the masdar. So, first you take the word aksaru and then you find the masdar for the adjective that you want to use. So, for example, we want to say Aksar, uh, the same thing, you want to say father. So previously we say abadu. So now we find the masdar for the word ba'id or for the fa'il ba'udah. So this is from the dictionary. The dictionary will tell you that the masdar is the word bu'dun. Bu'dun. Bu'd is the masdar. Okay, bu'd is the masdar. So what do you do? Is you combine the two words. First, the helping verb, aksar. Aksar literally means more. So you want to say more far, uh, father. Okay, so you say aksar and then you add the masdar. So this is the masdar and you end the masdar with a fatha, with a tanwin fatha. So we say aksaru bu'adan. So aksaru bu'adan is similar to this abadu. So now we have two ways of forming the same tough deal. The first way, which is uh, our lesson, you just change to afa'alu. The second way is you need to have an uh, an extra verb, or an additional or helping verb. So one of the helping ver verbs that you can use is this word, aksaru. Okay, that is number one. Number two, you find the masdar of the adjective that we want to use or of the fi'an that we want to use. So ba'uda, the masdar, this is from the dictionary because this is three-letter fi'an. If it is four or five letter, then of course you can just refer to the wazan that uh, we learn in the topic of al-masdar. So you will find the, the masdar, the masdar is bu'ad, then you combine the two, it becomes aksaru bu'adan. Uh, so this is the second way of forming isim tafdil.
All right. So again, as I said, this is uh, just uh, additional information. So next time when you see this form in the text, we will see this in our text. You will see this form. Aksaru, and then you have a masdar. So it means the same tough deal as well. All right. So this is the recap uh, of what we have covered on the topic of the same tough deal. So now let us uh, continue with the last tadrib. At tadribul akhir for the topic of uh, isim taf deal okay uh, how will al kalimat so how will you change all these words change all this adjective to isim taf deal so that is the first thing that we need to do how will ila isim taf deal what is the isim taf deal uh, using of course you just use the first uh, first method which is afal uh, that is the easiest one and then da'hu fi jumla mufida as usual you put it in a sentence you so you write a sentence using all this isim taf deal Okay, so now uh, let us uh, listen from you. What 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 do you have? Okay, for example, the first one, Wasim. Yes, who has done this? If you have done this, okay, you just mention the word and your sentences. Yes, Wasim is handsome. Uh, you want to say more handsome or the most handsome. So what is the word? Yes, please try. Some again, ada idham. I just hear some. Aw <laughs> yes. sam. Aw sam, yes, sahi. Yes, that is correct. So the word is aw aw sam. Yes, sahi. Okay. So that's it. The same tough deal. Good. Do you have any sentence using the word aw sam? This is this has nothing to do with the word awesome, right? So it is aw sam, more handsome. Yes. Any sentence you can use to compare between two, or you can say the most handsome, uh, the most handsome students. So yes, let's try. Muhammad Ausamu Min uh, Ali. Oh, Muhammad Ausamu Min Ali. Naam Sahih. Naam Sahih Madia. Shukran Jazila. So this is the simple sentence that you can use. Muhammad Ausamu Min. Don't forget to add the word Min because you want to compare between two. If you want to compare between two, you need this word Min after the isim taf deal. So we say Muhammad Ausamu Min Ali. Naam Ausam Min Ali. Okay. Sahih. That is uh, our sentence. Okay, let us try number two, fakir. Okay, fakir. Fakir means, of course, fakir is poor. So now you want to say poor or the poorest person. What is the word? Yes, please try. Af afkaru. Afkaru, na amishin. Afkaru. So the word is afkaru. Alif, fa, kaf, mm -hmm. and ra. Yes, sahih yishin. Afkaru. Okay, and for all of this uh, isim tafdi, don't forget to add to put the hamza on top of the alif. Okay. Al yes. Yes. So we say af karu. Good. So that is the word af karu. Okay. Do you have any sentence using the word af karu? Mm. Af karu. Let me think first. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, you can think. Anyone with this sentence, Afkaru? If you want to compare between two, two, two people, you can just use uh, the, the same pattern, uh, like the word awesome just now. But if you want to say the poorest person, uh, the poorest person in the Korea, for example, so how do you do that? Uh, let, us, let us try this. For example, we say this guy is the poorest uh, person in our city. Uh, okay, let us share to uh, wait. We have here, we have who said earlier, Idham? Idham or Safwan? Yeah, Safwan, Safwan. Okay, Safwan, try Safwan. Okay, I try yes. Yes. Um, Muhammad Hua Afkarul Insan Fi Medina. Muhammad Hua. Afkaru al-insan 
الإنسان في مدينة أو في القرية في المدينة أو القرية أوكي okay, جود في المدينة أو القرية أوكي okay. <تصفيق> محمد هو أفقر الإنسان في المدينة أوكي okay, let's look at the sentence first uh, Safan says محمد هو here because you want to say محمد is yes you can use هو or you can just keep the word هو you can simply say محمد أفقر uh, that is also correct so in Arabic it is not necessary that you need to translate the word is or are Okay, you can just say, just like the first sentence, Muhammad, awesome. But if you want to use the word huwa, it is correct as well. So you can say this, Muhammad, huwa. But if you use the word huwa, you want to use a, a word to represent is or are, make sure you use the domir correctly. For Muzakkar, Muhammad, you say huwa. But if this is Fatima, you need to change to hiya. Yeah. Yes, if this is plural, then you need to change this to plural as well, home. Okay, so be careful if you use the domir. Or otherwise, you just remove it. You say Muhammad Afkar. Okay, that is number one. And then we say Afkar Insan. Okay, yes, you can say Afkar Insan. But if you want to use Afkar Insan, Afkar, and then you use the word Insan. Insan is Mufrat. Uh, this is Mufrat, singular. If you want to use together with a singular word, normally we don't add Alif Lam. We just say Afkar Insan. Uh, af af Sorry, what is that? Afkar insan. Yes. So we say afkar insan. Okay. That is uh, if you want to use it with mufrat. But if you look at our lesson, so they will use this word together with a jama word. Uh, together with a jama word. So if we were to follow our lesson, we need to change this to jama. So what is the jama for the word insan? Because you want to say the poorest of the people in our Korea. That is why we need jama. So what is jama for insan? Yes, anyone? Jama for insan? Nasian. Nasian. Nasian, no. Nasian means forget. Okay. Uh, forgetful is nasian. Ananasi, I'm forgetting. Uh, I forgot. I forgot, you say. Ananasi. Nasian, yes. Uh, Insaniyatu? Insaniyatu, okay. Insania is a different word. Uh, insania is humanity. Okay. Uh, when you say insan, it is from the word insan, and then you have this in the end. You have this insania, so it has it it becomes another word. In humanity, that is insania. Uh, mm. So, for example, we say haza mufidun lil insania. So this is useful for the for humanity, for people. Yes. So we don't say insania. Yes. It Again, is Rafika, Nas. It is Nas. It is it, Nas. It is, it is Nas or uh, Nas. Uh, Nas. Yeah. Yes, Nas. Thank you. Nas. Uh, Nas. Uh, yes, Nas, uh, Nas. So, so this is the word. Jab. This is the jama. Sorry. Uh, Nas. Kol a'uzu bi Rabbi Nas. Okay. Oh, okay. So yes, I seek refuge from the God of the Lord of people. Uh, Nas. Yes. So this is the jama. So if you were to follow our lesson. If you want to say the most, then the word after the isim tafdil needs to be in the jama form. Okay, needs to be in the jama form. So you say afkar anas. But if you write afkar insan in the exam, I will just give you sahih. Okay, not a problem. But this is the proper word. Okay, so we say afkar unas fil madina. Naam sahih. Or you can say fi al qari. Okay, shukran. Shukran for the second sentence. Naam. Let us try number three. Fasih. Fasih. Fasih means. Is very uh, fluent. The person is very fluent. Fluent, you say fasih. The same word that you use in Malay, fasih. Yeah? But we say fasih. Nah. Okay, what is the isim tafdil for fasih? Afsahu. Af Afsahu. Uh, nah, Afsahu. Yes, you should. Afsahu. Okay, good. So that is the isim tafdil. Afsah. Afsah. Okay, now let us have a sentence for the word afsa afsa yes Ustaz, what does it mean for this word afsa mm -hmm. fluent okay fluent okay yes that is the meaning of afsa fasi fluent
Yes, anyone? Uh, yes, Isa. Um, we can use this word as in like uh, we can use the first one, right? Yang uh, uh, kalimat as well, right? For what is the example? Or do you have? No, no. Just give me your example. Then I will say whether it is correct or um, not. You mean you want to use it in the first sentence, in the first, the first, the first word in the sentence? Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. try, try that sentence and we will see. Uh, wait, I can try that. Mm, okay, maybe I will try. Okay, try. Uh, okay. Okay, continue. Uh, okay, as Swaho Ming Omi. Okay, as Swaho Ming Omi. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, as Swaho Ming Omi. My sister is more fluent than my mom. Nam Sahi. So my sister is more fluent than my mom. Yes. Okti af sahu min ummi. Yes. Hazihi jumla sahiha. Okay. Now you look at this jumla. So now uh, Yishin is okay. Yes. What do you want to ask? We don't need to say. You don't need to. We don't need to say what what she flu, uh, fluent in. Uh, yes, you can. You can. You can add. You can. For example, this fluent min ummi in what? Yes. You can, for example, you want to say "Okti af sahu min umi." This is the 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 basic the basic sentence. So what we what we did earlier, these are just the basic sentence. You can, of course. So it means that the sentence is already complete. But of course, if you want to add more, it is uh, she is more fluent than my mother. That in what in speaking, in speech, in of course, most of the time it is in speech, right? Feel la. So you can add, no problem. So, okay. for example, we say "af sahu min ummi fi fil kalam." Ah, so for yeah. example, "fil kalam." So yes, this is a good sentence as well. "Fil kalam" in speech and or in speaking. So she's uh, better or she is more fluent. Yes, Rafika, you can say that. Oh, yes. One. Okay, so here what I want to say just now is, you, if you look at the word ukhti, this is now a mu'annas word. And the isim tafdil, as I mentioned in the in the lesson, there is no need to change to a mu'annas form. So which means that the isim tafdil, awsam, afqar, afsa, can be used for both muzakkar and also mu'annas. Okay, mm. there is, there, we don't need to change this to mu'annas, afsa, no. Just say ukhti, afsahu. Oops, but you need to change this if you put it uh, if it is in the in the different sentence that sometimes you will see they change it in the mu'annas form but if the sentence is just to compare between two people or to say it is the most then there is no need to change all right so that is the same tough deal okay okay yes let us continue uh qadim qadim old old Qadim, but this is for things, not for, for, for people. If you want to say old people, we don't say Qadim. Uh, qadim is normally for object. For, yes. Okay, first, what is the Isim Tafdil for Qadim? All right, anyone? Qadim? Akdamu. Akdamu. Yes. Akdam. Thank you. Akdamu. Okay, that is the one. That is the same tafdil. Akdam. All right. The sentence. Akdam. Uh, maybe you can say, uh, this is the the most uh, 
the oldest all the oldest buildings for example this is the oldest building in our university uh, you can see that or any other sentences Okay, building. Anybody? Anyone knows what is the word for building? You want to say this building? Hazal bina. Okay, Idham says hazal bina. Bina. Yes, bina is the word bina is also uh, is also building. So, but bina it can be anything. Anything that is built by people, you call it building. You call it bina. But uh, for, for example, a monument, uh, that can be a bina as well. But now if you want to refer to a building itself, then we use another word. Uh, al mubna, al mabna. Yes, you got it right. Yes, you got it right. But uh, it, we call it, we say mabna. Yes, thank you, Inza. Al mabna, good. Mabna. Al mabna. Okay, not mubna. We say again, we say mabna. Uh, that, this is referring to the building. Yes. So bina is any building but bambna is like the the, the the condominium okay that then uh, you call it a building yes or the faculty you call it al mabna now hazal mabna okay now we have hazal mabna now you want to say is the oldest mabna is the oldest mabna or is the oldest buildings in the university so we just say hazal mabna akdam and now we need so there are two ways. First, you can use the mufrat word. You just say, you just uh, put the word mabna. But if you want to use the mufrat word, uh, normally we don't put the alif lam. So we just say akda mabna. Akda mabna. This is the oldest building. Or if we were to follow our lesson, then we need to change this to jama. Okay, anybody knows what is jama for the word mabna? Mabna. Mabnayan, two buildings, we say Mabnayan, and Jama is Al. Anyone? Al Mabani. Al Binayat. Al Binayat. Um, no, we don't say Al Binayat. Uh, if you say Al Binayat, the, 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 the word is different from the word Mabani. If you look at the word Binayat, so this is different from the word Mabani. Okay, so we don't use the word is mabani, al mabani. Okay, so al mabani. So we say has al mabna akdamul mabani. The sentence has is is already complete. But of course, you can make it longer. You can add fi hazihi al jamia. Okay, has al mabna akdamul mabani fi hazihi al jamia. Naam. Okay. Right? So this one, sorry. Yes. This is the third, the fourth sentence. Qadim Akdam. Nam Akdam. Wa akhiran qasir. Short. Qasir. You want to say shorter or shortest? The shortest. Okay. First, what is that isim tafdil for qasir? Qasir becomes. Yeah. Af, yes, Rafika again. Aksaru. 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 Yes, Sahih. Aksaru. Good. Ustaz, uh, mama yeah. na kasir. Mama na kasir. Short. Oh, short. Short is kasir. Naam. So we say kasir. Kasirun. Aksaru. Naam. Kasir. Aksar. Short. Fa, okay, now compare between two, two, two objects or two people. Okay, so how, how do you say this? If you want to compare between a person and a, if you want to use a domir, uh, you want to use who, ha, how do you say? For example, you want to say he is shorter than me. Uh, you want to use domir. Instead of the name of the person, you use domir. Or oh, I am shorter than him. How do you say that? Anna. Anna. Anna Akasaru. Anna Akasaru. Me. 
อนาคสรูมิน How do you say from? You do not want to put the the name. The name. Just Amin. yes. I mean, I'm thinking. Should I say <laughs> Minghu or Ming Minghu? Yes, good. So oh, which one? Oh, which Min. one? Is it is it Minghu? Ah, this is what I want to know. Is it Minghu or do you say Minghu? Which one? Minghu, Minghu. Minghu. Yes, correct. Minghu. And this is where previously. You have learned the two types of domir, the domir monfasil, the separated domir, and the domir mutasil, the attached domir. So the separated domir is like this one: hua, huma, hom, hia, huma, huna. So you have to separate it from the next word or from the previous word. But sometimes you have to use the the attached domir. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, if you use the harful jar, all these horrible jar. Mean ila an fi ala yes. fi. So all of these horrible jar or any other particles like inna, the word that you have learned previously. Inna, anna, la, kina. All of these words, if you want to use together with a pronoun, you have to use this. Uh, sorry, the, the the attached domir. So the attached domir is another group of domir. Hu, ha, ah, uh, ki. Uh, so. These are all the domain. So yes, in this case, we say min, min hu. hu. Good. Yes, we don't say min hua. So don't say min hua. You okay. say min hu. Yes. So this is what I want to know. Min hu. That is number one. Okay. So the rest, of course, with the rest of the domain, we can say min ka, min ki, min hum, min hum. Okay. Until the end. Okay. Uh, what about if you want to say from me, from me? Okay, what will happen to the word min? You want to say he is shorter than me. Huwa aksaru min. How do you say from me? Yes, anyone? Mm. Yes. If I He's say a, yeah. my, my sister is shorter than me, like yes, uhti uh, aksar. Uh, Mania. Ah, that is mania. Ah, that that is what I want to hear. Ohti aksor min. Ah, so this is what we want to know. Again, what did you say just now? Mania. Yes, mania. 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 Okay. Anybody? Do you have any opinion on this? What do you think? Mania. Ah, is that is that just now said mania? Okay, who it has? Uh, not min ana. Ah, okay, it ham says min ana. Okay, min ana. Okay, any other opinion? First we have min ya. Second we have min ana. Uh, maybe uh, just the min. Just min, and then? Yeah. Just min. I mean, uh, just add the ya. Yeah. Just add the ya. Yeah. Uh, it's same with the first okay, one. Okay, but how do you read the word? How do we... This one. How do you read this one? Okay. Let us look at this first. Min ana. So what did I say just now? When you want to use the domir together with all this horrible jar, min ila an ala. Which one do you use? The separated separate domir or the attached domir? The, the attached, attached domir. domir. So you have to use the attached domir. So this word ana ana is not the attached domir. Ana is the separated domir. Okay, you can Google separated domir and attached domir in Arabic. Uh, okay, so then you will see they, they, they will give you the list. The domir huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, huna. These are all the separated domir. But the attached domir, you will have like hu, ha, ka, ki, kuma. So together with this word, min, ida, ala, bi, you need to use the attached domir and not this separated domir. Okay, so we cannot say min, ana. Ah, this is number one. So you have to use. So what is the equivalent of ana in the attached form? Hua, hu. Ana is ya. So just like our sister said just now. Yeah, okay, that is correct. But how do you read this? Ah, that is another question. How do you read the word y uh, with this ya? Okay. For ya, yes, uh, ya. So for example, if you want to say like, 
you want to say my uh, my book so normally you just combine the word with ya yeah. kitab and then you just put ya yeah. so it becomes kitabi uh, this is if you want to uh, to say my uh, possession then you just join the two words but sometimes with certain words like the word mean like the word mean when you uh, want to combine with uh, my or with this ya yeah, it is not enough just to add ya yeah. sometimes you will see they add another letter before ya yeah, which is the letter nun the letter nun so instead of e you say ni ni so in your dua uh, allahumma gfir uh, li walidayya wal warhamhuma kama rabbaya ni uh, you say ni kama rabbaya ni so that nun ni is actually part of this this is really another letter that you you combine with ya yeah. sometimes you need that known okay so in this case we need this known so we cannot say you cannot say just you cannot just put ya yeah, mini just like that mini no it is not enough so we need to have another known so it is like you are having two known now so the first is the min min and the second is the knee but of course uh, the arabs will not uh, right, mean ni like this. So since you have two nones together, known and another known, the first known it will sukun. So in this case, what they do is they combine the known. They combine the two known only what be, to become one, only one known. All right, and then instead of sukun, they combine it. It becomes a shadda. So now the word becomes mean ni. Ah, so that is the the correct word if you want to say my. So you say mean from me, minni, minni. Okay, so that is uh, how do we say from me? Yes. You have any question to ask? All right. So this is the lesson on isim tafdil. Okay, isim tafdil. All right.